Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Arrow Fighters. I'm Chorp Suwei. Hi, I'm the J.O. Spade. And we're here to show you a very special schmuck. It's close uh, to my heart. Yeah, um, this schmuck released in, I believe, 97 is, uh, it's not particularly... It says 94 like on the screen. 94? Good. Good. I'm already off to a good start. It's not particularly well known for being, uh, like a bullet hell game or being really memorable as far as like mechanics go, it's more for its characters, which you'll see in just a moment. Um, you have a wide variety of characters. In fact, this is one of the first games to give such a wide variety of characters. So we'll be playing as the baby and the dolphin, Bobby and Spanky. Hey, you're a baby. <laughs> I love dolphins. Oh, we're off to a good start. So um, this is one of the first games to give like a wide variety of characters. Not only that, gives each character dialogue in between each section of the game, and then also gives unique dialogue for every combination of characters in the game. So a lot of work went to the aesthetics, and while this game's fun to play, it's not, like, super notable or super interesting. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like... Like, the whole different dialogue for every combination of characters is, like, something really rare, even in, um today's uh, shmups. Yeah. I mean, shmups don't even have much dialogue as it goes. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, they can be some of the most storied uh, games. I, yes. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we did... Okay, so we did just get attacked by two uh, Japanese high-rises. And this guy. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> that guy's my favorite. And I just noticed there's a black mage on the in the um, parking lot to the left of us. So we've reached our first boss uh, in Tokyo. This is a boss ripped straight from a game called Raiden 2. Uh, every, everything about it is uh, ripped straight from that game, including how it explodes in the end. It's not a particularly difficult boss. Um, I don't know if this is just the Japanese version or the Saturn version, which I own the Japanese Saturn version, um, but that beam at the beginning kills you in that version. So, really? Um, yeah. Okay, so now we're in Paris. Yeah. And I'm stealing all the power-ups, because uh, I need them. Another thing about this game is that uh, all of the uh, levels are randomized, so you go, to every, you go to every level, but you don't always go to them in the same order. It's pretty nice. It's like Mega Man. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you'll notice now that uh, Jay has reached level 3 power on his bullets, he also shoots out small mines. Uh, which he can then push in any direction uh, to shoot at enemies. And they also block uh, small bullets that I can't shoot down. Yep. Uh, I just shoot more missiles out as a spread character. As much as I love Spanky as a character, I don't think his his super attack. I mean, um, his special attacks are all that great. Oh, fair enough. Uh, then, then another thing about it is that every character does play pretty differently as far as, um... Oh, I thought I was you for a minute. Um, so every character plays fairly differently. Um, I mean, not significantly. It's still a shmup. There's only so much that you can do with bullets, but... That's nice. I can't believe Well, there are shoujo that. characters, and there are <laughs> grapplers. <laughs> yep. See, I'm a shoujo because I'm shooting a projectile. I see. That's what that word means. Uh, so this boss is a normal fighter plane and also uh, just a carbon copy of that fighter plane. So the, I guess we should talk about the bullets. Those oval bullets that they shoot out we can destroy. I believe we can also destroy the large uh, circle bullets, but only uh, with uh, special attacks. We can't destroy the small ones at all. Yeah, that was kid stuff. Except maybe. with Spanky's mines. Okay. And so now we've reached a level that's just uh, infinite power-ups. Which is pretty cool, because if you get four power-ups, you'll power up super a lot, but you won't keep that power-up. It'll eventually just go away. Yeah, fourth level bullets are nice and super good, but they also go away after a while. I believe this is a common uh, shmup 
mechanic, but I don't know because I'm no good at these games. Uh, I'm good at this I don't one. Think a lot. I, I mean, I can't think. I'm not super like. I don't play a lot of like super arcade shmups. I've played the riding games because I've got the Raiden Legacy collection, mm -hmm. which is really cool, and people should get that off GOG. And I don't think that game does like the games in that collection do it. So I don't know. So I forgot where we are. I think we're in Russia. I'm not sure. Africa. Uh, Hello. Let's see what money they have. They have CZs, if I remember correctly, which I don't know what that stands for. I'm pr I'm pretty sure them were in Russia. It was for like checks. That's... Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, like you write a check. A check. Okay. <laughs> Plus all the pipelines for oil. Oh, goodness. Um, so this game actually has a, a matrix S bullet time mechanic when there are a lot of bullets on the screen. Yeah, that's not slow down. down. <laughs> that's not slow down, that's a mechanic. It's a feature. <laughs> so the back of the box, the arcade box. Oh, I keep forgetting that enemy is there. This enemy is bad because it only shoots small bullets. So another thing to note is that net play is hard. Um, so we're not playing this, and this is actually surprisingly competent, but, uh, that's most of why the slowdown starts to happen. Yeah. And now we're facing, um, some kind of, some kind of desert tank. It has a good six or seven different parts to it that shoot different bullets. And as you can see, as we destroy them, they, they start smoking, and they will shoot less bullets at us, which is nice. <laughs> This is a common theme in many uh, shmup bosses, where you yes. can destroy parts of it and it stops shooting as much. Uh, <laughs> oh, this dialogue is good. Now, uh, life hack: if you shoot the Statue of Liberty, you actually get a free power up in real life. Is that the first time you've died? Um, Gotten I think that's over? the first con uh, continue I've had to use. Wow, I feel pathetic. Anyways, we're now in New York. In New York, they're starting to up the ante with some of these uh, these plane setups. Yep. And there are more buildings to destroy. Yes. Also, large planes like that always give a power up, which is nice. These small ones are just there to ruin your power ups. Man, oh, wait, I, I got really bad when we got to New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've reached. Um, the Central Park, and we've destroyed a Ferrix wheel. Good, go us, we're the real heroes. You do know that Central Park is not an amusement park, right? <laughs> I, I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> oh, so uh, there's a. There's I think a this might be here. Coney Island. On the left, right before we uh, entered the grassy area, we saw a uh, sprite of one of the secret bosses hidden as a balloon. If you go back and look at it, it's Mambu, who is also shows up in the Proteus games. That was wow. a stealth fighter. <laughs> oh wait, we fought a boss? I didn't even see it. <laughs> look, our baby and dolphin powers are enough to destroy anything that happens. We are strong and powerful. Oh, I just took that all from you. Good. You want to grab that power up. Give me a second. Oh, I keep on mistaking <laughs> myself for you. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And again, now we're in Sydney. I know because the Sydney concert hall here is is here. Oh look, it's Finding Nemo. <laughs> ah, you're right. Good. When you're right, you're right. Remember that time <laughs> in Finding Nemo where he had to fight off a battalion to yep. get back to his homeland? Mm-hmm. I remember when um, Nemo became the first uh, clownfish pilot, <laughs> and the sharks were all like, fish are fighter pilots, not food. <laughs> uh, it's just like, uh, Spanky's a real hero. Ah, uh, I haven't seen this many subs since I worked at Quizdos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good, we're recycling jokes from the, from the this run. <laughs> yes, all of them. <laughs> good. Good, I'm glad we're just doing this. Uh, <laughs> I love how this is infinitely more funny to us than it will ever be to anybody else. That's ever. fine. 
We do this oh, for ourselves. Yeah, we gotta oh. take down this boss, though. We, we get a surprising amount of time to fight it. And shoot at it. But that's because... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I love this boss That was entrance. close. It almost got us with that uh, football bullet, though. Yeah. In, in a practice run before, I used all uh, two characters' bombs and shot it constantly, and it did not die. I do not believe it's actually possible to kill that battleship. <laughs> Makes it a more competent boss, but... Uh, so this battleship is also in multiple parts, which, unlike most other bosses, don't appear until you defeat some of the other ones. I think this is also one of the few bosses where you have to destroy all of the pieces of it? But don't quote so. me on that, because I'm no good at video games. So this is probably because I played the Sega Saturn version and it was called Sonic Wings 2 Special, but um, right. you actually fight this boss in a different location in that game. Oh, really? Did yeah, you, you fight it in the desert, which is weird because it's a boat. <laughs> Ecology is cool, Bobby. I'm glad you know. So here's another power-up stage. The most exciting thing about it is when it shoots all the, all the ships at you that don't shoot any bullets that you can get free power-ups and also enter more bullet time mode. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> I can't believe I died in this level. End my life. <laughs> oh, didn't that helicopter already do it? Whackity smackity <laughs> were I guess tough. those guys really were tough. Dang. <laughs> This baby's getting owned. All right, we've entered Mexico, and uh, in uh, in in a single-player game, uh, Spanky will declare that he must save Mexico, which just shows how dedicated he is to helping our brothers south of the border. Well, I, I think Spanky really just wants to make a a run to the border for fourth meal. <laughs> Maybe he does. <laughs> Ugh. Spanky goes, yo quiero Taco Bell. Uh, so, uh, speaking really of which... really loves those new uh, uh, Taco oh. Bell breakfasts, which is weird because nobody else likes them. Yeah. He's like, hey, you're gonna finish that um, hash brown thing with bacon and eggs? And like, no, please, Spanky, eat it. I don't want it. <laughs> and Spanky's like, yes, sir. So, um, but one thing to point out is that, uh, since all of these characters get unique dialogue, at the end of this run, I will be showcasing all of the unique dialogue for these two characters on when they play on their own. Um, the thing about this game is that while it's fun to play, I, I, we can't commentate over it for multiple runs, so we'll be showing you just some of our favorite dialogues. <laughs> Though this, uh, this copter in particular, I don't know why, just kicks our asses every time we get here. Probably because we're bad at video games. Maybe. Oh, we're reaching the boss. And also some mexes. <laughs> ready to pick up some mexes, my favorite currency? I think we're actually just picking up some Mexican food. <laughs> ah, the tanks keep delicious Mexican food in them. So we're starting on the sides here because we know a boss is coming up. We're fighting some uh, ancient Aztec ruins. <laughs> But they weren't just ancient Aztec ruins, they were alien technologies. I bet you didn't know that. There's a tip for you. Ancient Aztecs, also aliens. Watch out for those bullets. I didn't. Here's a tip. Always be shooting. ABS. Yup. I think and that applies to real life, too. Every This boss has a lot of stages, and every stage is harder than the last, and it's annoying. Because it's hard. And I'm no good. Oh, but we took care of it. And we almost got a game over, but we didn't. Good job, team. So we okay. reached the second to last level. So I think I figured out how the dialogue worked. Like, uh, uh -huh. whichever way like the dialogue comes from, it, that's the person who's saying it. Oh, that makes it a lot easier to figure out when they talk about this, what they're saying. Yeah. Huh, that's, that's interesting. That might be true. I mean, have I ever been wrong about a video game before? Yes. Oh. I think that's happened multiple times. <laughs> have I been wrong this recording? <laughs> I don't think so, so 
Fair enough, sir. Also, those ships are hard and eventually they run away like big babies. What hey, I'm the only big is, baby say, here is you. <laughs> yup, when I say something's hard, it means I'm no good at it. Well, I meant that you were literally a baby. Oh, that's also true. I am also literally a baby, IRL. My name's Bobby. I'm a tough baby. God dang it, Bobby. <laughs> good. Good. Uh, oh, goodness. I almost dodged all those bullets, and I'm not sure how. Hey, come back so you can get all these Oh, there we go. Upgrades. So this is an alien spaceship, because as it turns out, we're being invaded by aliens. This is a lot like Independence Day, except instead of Will Smith and um, Jeff Goldblum, we have a baby and a dolphin. I, you know, it's been a while since I've watched Independence Day, but I'm pretty sure Jeff Goldblum's was... character was a dolphin. <laughs> that might be true. Oh, wait a minute! No, Will Smith! Like, he gave his wife a ring that had a dolphin on it. This is... this is getting a little too deep for me. <laughs> so, now we've entered, um... I guess the alien base. Uh, somewhere in space, because it doesn't show up on the map. Probably somewhere over Oceania. It also happens to be a, uh... A cathedral... For the Church of Scientology. More like a cathedral. Wait a minute, that doesn't... Got... And now we reach... Oh no, we're not at the mini-boss yet. I lied. I, I, uh, I was excited a little early. Instead, That's because the whole stage is the mini-boss. That's yes. the twist. So if you die on this stage, um, you have to start from the very beginning. Or unlike the other over. ones where you don't have to do that. And I'm going to insert a whole bunch of other credits because I'm pretty sure we're going to die a lot. This mini-boss has a lot of attacks that are hard to dodge, including these uh, monkeys if you don't bomb them. The small monkeys are very difficult to deal with, but thankfully, he got stuck in the loop at the end. And now we reach the second half of the stage, which has much faster um, of these enemies, and they shoot bigger bullets. Now, is this a detriment? Yes. Especially like this one, who has a lot more HP and also shoots a lot more. Uh, you get that. Thanks. So now there are three different bosses that we can face here, and it's randomly generated, but one's more likely. We'll probably see that one. This game is actually a very early roguelike. <laughs> um, close. All right, let's not. Don't shoot the bullets. Don't. Don't take this away from the boss. Oh, we got the standard boss. It's this eyeball. Whoa, he's pretty tough. <laughs> yes, but you're one tough dolphin. Yeah, um... Again, I'm no good at shmups, so I can't read the bullet patterns as fast as others might be able to. I'm sure there's some trick. To, like, I think the trick is to time. move left and right during this part. Yeah, probably. But, like, well, and also use also, bombs. Yeah, we can also just bomb. Um, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what these aliens are doing. <laughs> Oh. oh good, I came back just in time for us to kill it. Ah uh, yeah, I got a higher score than you! <laughs> oh, we got the ending. Oh no, Bobby! If you don't blow up enough buildings, Bobby dies. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> Spanky right, can't Bobby. stop drinking. You can always count on whales. <laughs> Thanks for the life advice. Now, uh, what happens here is we're in a second run, but the second run is not as charming as the first because while it makes it diffi more difficult, there's no extra bosses to be had specifically to the extra run. There's not a lot of extra content outside of just more difficult uh, plane patterns. Uh, even the bosses don't really change that much or get too many different attacks. They also remove all the dialogue, so that's not fun. So, I mean, like, why are you even playing the game at this point? Yeah, so, uh, we'll, we'll show you the first boss and its second run equivalent. You know, just, just for posterity's sake, but after that we're just gonna take a nice break. Yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed Arrow Fighters 2. Arrow Fighters 2 is one of my favorite shmups. Not only because I am relatively decent at it, but also because it's very charming in its dialogue. And it brings friends together, isn't that right? It does! It only took us three days to figure out how to set up this netplay. Mm -hmm. I like this enemy too, because he actually becomes more threatening. Yeah, he but doesn't he just shoot just... footballs. 
Oh! Oh, hey! Look, oh. that beam destroyed us! So, so second run is actually pretty cool. Watch out. But we're still not going to be playing it, because we're no good. Speak for yourself, and for me, because I am also not good. <laughs> Wait, did I just destroy a small one, or is that your mind? That might have been your mind. That was my mind. Okay. Look, this boss got, like, several steps backwards. Oh, goodness, yeah. Just look at all that HP it had. Alright, well I think that's enough, and uh, thank you for joining us on this exciting adventure. Uh, I have been Chorps Away. I've been the JS Spade. And I hope you have appreciated this run through of Arrow Fighters 2. If you'd like to see more dialogue, why don't you do your own runs and maybe do better than we do? Alright. It's a good game. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye.